so, um, yeah, I just had to make a video of this, you know, and pay tribute to two beloved actors, you know, who we lost recently, just, yeah, just, yeah, but, um, that's right, so you read the title, um, this is a tribute <clears throat> to, uh, two great and fantastic actors who we both, we lost on the same day, on Friday, um, on, uh, April 16th, yeah, and, um, it was very devastating to to have heard about this, and, um, yeah, because um, I'm sure some of you would probably know who these two are, you know, um, and I know them very well. Um, so, yeah, recently, and this past Friday, we had lost both Felix Sela, if, I, if I'm pretty sure I said the last name right, and... Uh, most of all, we lost Helen McCr McCrory. I'm, yeah, I, th I think I got the last name, but, you know. Um, yeah, it was very devastating to hear that both of them passed, especially because, okay, I'll go, like, I'll start with Felix first, because I believe as though, yeah, he was the first one I, I heard of who had died. Now, Felix, he is uh, right there with, with many of those actors from, like, say, Warwick Davis, Deep Roy, Vernon Troy, you know you know what I'm saying. Um, he's done a lot of great acting and such, and most of us, we would know him best. Like, he, um, like, um, probably one of uh, his best-known roles was, like, he was the robot Twiggy in uh, the Buck Rogers show. He was the body of Twiggy. And I'm pretty sure because Mel Blanc, he had done the voice of the robot because he had a role in Buck Rogers, so I'm sure I'm sure it was that robot. <laughs> but others, other work that Felix had done is like say um, he was one of the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi, um, obviously. Um, he uh, also was one of the uh, the Dinks. To put it this, one of the 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 dinks who are a parody of the Jawas in Mel Brooks Spaceballs, you know. Um so he was one of those. Um he was also in say Battlestar Galactica, Mork and Mindy. Um I'm trying to think of what else, but uh, I'm I and he, even when I checked him on IMDb cuz he was he was also in uh, Coming to America, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, but that, but that's all I can think of. Um, but yeah, he was uh, he was such a great actor, and he lived a good life. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, he's he was right there with all the other great actors uh, who I just mentioned. So you know, um, yeah, it was very sad to hear that he died. Um, he lived a good life, and you know, he will be remembered very well for his roles that. He had done just you name it, um, and now let's come to the one that um, I for me this one I don't know, but it just it just hit me just like that. It hit me because we had also lost, and ev everybody would know her best, especially for those for the Harry Potter fans like myself and my mom, uh, Helen McCrory, because she had recently passed away. You know. As I said, both her and Felix, they both died on on the 16th, you know, of April, and um, she, it turns out, because, like, it was actually, this was, actually, this was kind of kept secret, like, you know, she kept it, she kept it secret, I guess you could say, um, she died of, sadly, well, and actually, both actors, they both died from cancer, which, that was, that was very sad, but, you know, um, but for Helen, like, she's a, she was a great and talented actress, and such an amazing woman, you know, um, a sweet woman, that kind of stuff, you know, um, everybody would know her best for her role as, as Draco's, uh, mother, you know, Mrs. Malfoy, Mrs. Malfoy in, uh, the Harry Potter franchise, but other, like, other films that she's done, and, and also in, like, TV shows, like, um, um, like, she was in, like, say, I remember, like, she was in an episode of Doctor Who, she was Rosanna, she was, like, I want to say the mother or 
Queen of the Vampires, uh, which was in season five, and again, you know, from Doctor Who. Uh, yeah, that was that was a pretty interesting and scary episode, you know, the Doctor Who's version of vampires, pretty much. Um, other stuff that she's been in, like, um, well, and for my mom, because here's the thing, as I said, when I heard that she, when I saw this, like on IMDb. It, I was shocked. Like, I was so sad to hear that she had passed. And again, as I said, it just hit me like that. So, you know. Um, but yeah, so again, I was shocked and sad to hear about this. And even when, my, when I told my mom about this, she didn't hear about this. But when I told her, she was shocked and saddened, saddened to hear about that as well, you know. And... Um, and some of the other stuff, like, you know, because my mom, she had seen her and other stuff. And actually, because, like, my mom, she was actually born just a couple of months and a year before she was born. So, yeah, my mom was born in uh, nineteen six in, in 67, and, you know, Helen, she was born in 68, so, you know, and just a few months apart from each other. So, you know, my mom was born in November, and she, and Helen was born in August, so, you know, um... But yeah, so uh, other stuff that I remember seeing Helen in was like, oh yeah, because I almost I completely forgot she was in uh, Hugo that the the movie Hugo directed by Martin Scorsese and which also had uh, even Johnny Depp was producer of that and also had great other actors from the late great Christ Christopher Lee Sasha Baron Cohen was in it, um, Chloe Mortez if I'm saying her name right, yeah. Her as well, just yeah, and it's it's been quite a while since I've seen that movie, <laughs> um, but um, and other and actually I it ju I I had just remembered you know uh, that she was also the voice of Mrs. Bean uh, in the stop motion film F Fantastic Mr. Fox, you know, directed by Wes Anderson and Frank Bean's wife, you know, um, <laughs> which you know it's like when you look at Mrs. Bean, like she looks like. She looks like she's a man or something, but no, she's a woman, so, you know. Um, but, yeah, and some of the other stuff, like, um, one of her, and also one of her last roles, like, that she did, you know, and she acted in was that HBO series, um, his dark, uh, what's it called, his, um, dark materials, if I'm saying that right, well, James McAvoy's in it, I know that, and, um, uh, that probably will, I, you know what, to, and I'll go ahead and say this, because I might actually give that a watch, you know, because it seems like it's that kind of show where, okay, the feel of this show, and, yeah, okay, I, I'll, yeah, I might give it a watch, and especially, especially, especially as of now, because, you know, in memory of Helen McC McCrory, so, you know, because why not, and, the role she had in that show was like I she was she was a voice of like say a white leopard or something I'm pretty sure, um, apparently so yeah because you know um, that's that that's what her role was you know, um, but yeah so um, I'm trying to remember what else oh yeah there is a there was also one movie that I might give a watch to you know. That um that was actually it's that was actually directed and which he uh, starred in as well. Um, Alan Rickman. It's a movie called A Little uh, A Bit of Chaos. I'm, I'm sure I got that 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 name right. The name of that movie right? Because you know it has Alan Rickman. He he not only is he the star of the film, but he also directed it. Uh, and then, and Helen McCrory, she's in it too, but also Kate Winslet and Alan, and, no, not Alan, Stanley Tushy, <laughs> Kate Winslet and Stanley Tushy, they're in that film as well, um, yeah, I may give that a watch as well, cause why not, again, um, you know, cause, you know, hey, you know, in memory of Helen, so just why not, um, and besides, hey, not only that, but hey, that film was, was directed by Alan Rickman, so why not, you know, give that a watch, um, but yeah, just, that's all I can think of, and, uh, yeah, it's really sad to, to have, to have heard of this, and that we have lost both Helen and Felix, you know, they were, th those two were, 
the two of them were really great actors, and they will be very dearly missed, you know? Um, and especially for Helen, because that was out, that came out of nowhere, I'm sure, for, for, for some of us, you know? And even my mom, like, I even said that to my mom, she agreed too, you know? That came out of nowhere, that was unexpected for us, it just, you name it. Um, but yeah, even like before I actually, before I, um, a couple hours before I started this video, I was checking out some videos and such of Helen and one of her very last interviews on Good Morning Britain, you know, I think as of now, you could really tell because, you know, she wasn't really doing so well. Um, even one of the, the woman, uh, one of the anchors, a woman like uh, asked, uh, said to her, like, you know, her voice is kind of like she has like a sore throat and such. And she and this came from Helen herself, like made it funny saying, you know, I've got kids. And yeah, that was that came from her. That was that was pretty funny, you know. Um, but yeah, just thoughts and prayers go out to their families, both Felix and Helen. Um, yeah, once again, it's very sad to have, to have heard of this and that we lost both of them. It's just very saddening, you know. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, um, you know, God bless both of them and yeah. They were, they, I, they will never be forgotten, just, you know, they're, they're great people, so just, you know. But with all that, so if, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching this, uh, my tribute to both Felix and Helen, you know, again, God bless both of them, they're great people and slash actors, you know, and, yeah, with all again with all that being said, thank you guys for watching this tribute video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, again, God bless to both of them. They were great people/actors. That's that's all I can say. All right. Thank you guys. Peace out.